Hi guys, I'm Marcello. Welcome to a new First Look video. Today I show you Quintera by Side Real Studio, a roguelike team based tactics game where we move our units on hexagon maps. We can choose between four playable species and we must build our army with elites, minions, equipment, and crystals. All is procedurally generated. I remind you that the game is in early access and this is my first look. Let's go! Okay, or less than close. Stop. Welcome to the combat tutorial, young one. Let's get you started off with some basics. You can change your view of the battle map by pressing WSD. Okay. In combat, you have two primary resources to consider. Common points are used to summon minions and structure mana. Okay. Just just think uh, some minions and structure mana is used to summon your elites elites and use some abilities by default you will gain one common point and three mana on your turn and you can hold a maximum of two and and twelve okay you will also utilize the elements to prepare our elites throughout combat you will do this by drafting the essence from the land on each of your turns, you will automatically enter draft mode to begin this process. Once in draft mode, you can see the elements okay, that rich lens tile has. Click on one of the tiles with one element to draft in. Draft the tile with one... okay. After drafting, you will see the elite option that you can prepare. Each elite has an element associated with it, which must match an element from the drafted tile. Some elites are colorless and will match any element. Each elite will also have a number of other key pieces of information, the unit's mana or common point cost, their attack, which is how much physical damage they do in combat, their health or the amount of damage they can take. Okay. Then we have the armor, which reduces all physical damage, and finally their spell power, which increases all spell damage and healing done. Okay. In addition, they might have a number of abilities, both active and passive. Active ability can be used. In, okay, except problem. You may also forego choosing an elite, and instead gain a small amount of mana. This is only recommended when you have when you have no other option. After logging over your choices, you'll have to click to prepare. Here you only have one option, so click the scout. After drafting a tile, it will fall away and a new tile will appear at the end of your turn. Keep in mind that you can click the draft button at any time to enter or exit the draft mode. Now that you understand your resources and the drafted process, let's go over the basic of summoning and using your units. Each turn you will use your common point and mana to summon the units onto land. By your enemy and complete army, by default you can only summon one copy of each elite and two copies of each minions at a time. In addition, after an elite is killed, they will cost more mana. Okay, try summoning a unit from the preparation bar by dragging the unit icon into the land. Okay, you can bring him here. Each turn's unit may perform one action. Each unit has a few available action. They can move to energy and tile, they can attack, and they can use any active abilities. Try moving your unit by first selecting the unit and clicking at the addition and occupied tile. Nice, but the way around, no action, the border around will darken. Okay. Since you draft the land, prepare an elite, use your resist to summon it. Okay. 
As you may have noticed, the enemy summoning a unit of their own. We'll get a chance to fight them in a second, but first let's go over some advanced drafting preparation information. Each time you draft, you will keep the essence of the elements draft. This essence is available to you in your next draft, draft and allows you to draft tiles with multiple elements over several turns. However, keep in mind that all but one element must match the elements of the tile you last draft. Here are some examples of this progression. Okay, to see this info you click on land, okay. Draft a tile with two elements. A tile with two elements, I find it here. Ah, here. When drafting tiles with multiple elements, you can utilize some of the elements to attack crystals, to attach crystals to your elite option. You do this by adding the crystals element to the elite element, effectively increasing the elite cost. In doing, the, in doing so, the elite will gain the benefit of the crystal. Try attaching a crystal on an elite by dragging and dropping the crystal into it. Okay, after attaching the crystal, the elite information will update to reflect what the crystal provide. Okay, nice. Prepare a unit to combat. Attack a unit to continue. Nicely done, young one. You decimate that creature is important and said that there are different goals to victory in each combat, and your goal may not always be the same as your opponent's. You can view victory condition in the post menu. Win condition on your 10 turn. Lose condition on the enemy's 10 turn. Nicely done, young one. This concludes your initial training, you should be ready now to set off on an expedition. Open the pause menu via the cogwheel icon in the bottom left of your screen and click End Tutorial. Okay, let's see what it's all about. Ancient Jungle. Before you set off into your first expedition into the world of Quintero, let's go over your world progress through your journey. In your expedition you will visit three of the region of Quintero. Each region has a primary element that is present throughout the region, as well as two primary species that in inhabit it. The region also contains a number of areas, each area is a separate step along your journey containing a number of locations with different options and challenges. Each location inside an area is either a combat location, shop location or bonus location. Combat location are the main kind of nodes. Okay, shop location includes the guild and marketplace bonus location will reward you with free units equipment or crystal they include the ruins shrine and cage all is one of your primary resource morale now that you understand most of the basic of an expedition let's go over how you can manage your hero and army to be ready for combat look for the talents button Talents mean allow you to manage your command progression throughout the expedition. Here you can unlock benefit combat. The army menu is where you will manage everything else that you bring into combat. Now click on the army button. Units in your army include your elite minions and structure. Equipment can be attached to a unit by dragging into the equipment slot the right of the unit. Okay, now you should be ready to set out on your expedition. Select Malakita. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We can choose two two puff. Uh, let's move. We know nature and reason for affecting us with this wretching curse. It has to mean something, or else this is all for nothing. We are proud to call you the new war chief. Nature spirit will forever be with you. Okay, here we have a combat. A marketplace and another combat. 
we can see the reward the difficult level and the common elements we will find inside the fiki enemies fight to hold pull the unit advantage over your opponent oh, okay we can also see the the objective okay i want to try a combat okay okay let's try to understand the mechanics here i can i can use this style and using a champion also okay can only end the turn now Here we two okay I used the, the style with two green elements then then I want to X reversal target allied unit with within two range gain this unit I think that in the next turn I must Okay, I can put it all around the map. Mana ball. We can gain something here. Target a light unit within two range, gain an additional action this turn. Okay, I can use it. I can use this. And let's take one.
this is a mana ball, gain one additional mana per turn, okay? Defeated as usual. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about Kintera in the comments below. Remember to leave a like and share this video. See you at the next one. Ciao.